Welcome to the No Budget Indie Film Cast, where we dip in the independent film universe to highlight those little films that you might not have heard about elsewhere. Will you agree with our panel, or will our panel agree with each other? Tune in to find out. I am Milo Dennison, and with me, as always, is Claire Malong. Hello. <laughs> and joining the two of us is Kaho Fini. Hello. All right, Call. what is on the agenda this week? So this week, uh, what is on the agenda is a film called Johnny Flinton. Uh, now, the reason I picked this film is because it's directed by a woman called Lexi Alexander. And Lexi Alexander recently enough caused a bit of a Twitter storm or controversy when she tweeted that old films don't hold up. Now, I don't know when sort of she decided that new films start and old films ended, uh, we can maybe say before 1970. So I saw a bit of, yeah, a bit of sort of uh, tweeting about this issue um, and she got a bit of kickback on it. And I said, okay, who's who's Lexi Alexander? So I looked her up and uh, she is a German-Palestinian director. Uh, She's made a few features and she's worked on TV a lot. So she's had a, you know, a good bit of success. Um, and this film, the one we're going to talk about today, is uh, is one of her first films. It's a short film and it was shortlisted for an Oscar in 2003. Now, there's one more thing I should say about Lexi Alexander is she's a former world kickboxing champion. So I don't want to criticize her too much. <laughs> yeah she'll track us down it's like i love this film lexi <laughs> um so the film itself is called johnny flinton and uh it's about a boxer so the film starts off and the titular character johnny flinton he's he's in his house and he's you can see he's kind of distraught and he's punching the walls uh, and then you see why to see this woman lying on the ground and there's blood pouring from her head. And the implication is that he's responsible for this. So then the we go back a few days and uh, it, the film catalogues the series of events that led to this scene. So we, we find out that this woman and him were married, happily married. Uh, there's absolutely no sort of animal you know, conflict or animosity. They seem very much in love. Um, We also find out that he has anger management issues and he uses boxing as a kind of a release for his anger. He also is is quite good at boxing and he has a title fight coming up. Uh, Now, obviously enough, things start to go wrong and, you know, that leads us to this final scene. it's it's quite long for a short, about coming in at about forty minutes, but I I didn't think that that was that wasn't a problem for me. I just thought it was it was just about the right length for the story and the plot. Um, directorially, it was fine. Uh, that set Pete's boxing match was done quite well. Uh, I did have a s- issue with some of the characterizations, though, particularly the the lead couple. Uh, I just thought they were bit hammed up they were you know too nice or too angry or or a bit too stupid um and like there was a scene where he was thrashing a carpet and I just thought it was a bit gratuitous uh it didn't seem to fit with the scene I understood why they did it but it it, it just you know I didn't seem to make sense in the context of the scene um but overall you know not a bad film if a little bit cheesy at times. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of with you on the characterization as well. Like they were a bit, especially the neighbor, the, the kind of old lady nosy neighbor who doesn't like him. And she's just kind of such a stereotype uh, that it was kind of annoying. And, and yeah, the, the kind of soft-spoken, sweet, you know, Southern wife and, you know, the, the boxer guy, you know, like, the, yeah, they were just, um, the, the characterization, I agree, was a bit lackluster. Um, the pace, you're right, the pacing, I thought was really nice. I mean, for a 40-minute film, 
uh, it was it was it had a slow pacing to it, but it worked for the film. It didn't feel like, you know, it needed to be rushed anymore. Um, I you know I wouldn't mind seeing more films that have pacing like this. Actually, it's kind of it, I thought it was actually kind of nice and refreshing. Mm -hmm. uh, it did. It was interesting that it was made in in the 2000s because it felt like it was made in the 80s for some reason. It reminded me of some like 80s TV movie that's trying to like you know educate us on something or whatever. Um, so there was that aspect of like it feels like this thing was made in the 80s, but um, yeah, it was all right. Even the his relationship with the neighbor kid is kind of like, look, I want to be a boxer. Okay, I'll show you to be a boxer. And then I'm gonna have this moment where I get angry and then I'm gonna tell you not to be a boxer, but then I'm gonna realize I'm being an asshole. So I'm gonna be like, oh, I'm sorry. And it's just, it was so, um, yeah, that, that kind of hackneyed writing and and uh, direction of the characters uh, at, at, at her. Um, so knowing that she disparages on older movies, it was interesting that she made a film that felt like an older movie. Uh, albeit depending on what era she considers older movies, if she's like talking black and white films or seventies or eighties, because yeah, I thought it felt like an eighties film to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's funny. I'm the exact same. I felt like this film was from the eighties and I had to look it up. And when I discovered it was 2002, it, 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 it really, it's, it's aged so badly. Like I thought this film was hammy and cheesy mm -hmm. and stereotypical. And it, it, it would, would that, although it was, I didn't like it really at all, but I have to commend the pacing because it didn't feel like 40 minutes. And it was amazing because we've watched films that are 10 minutes, 20 minutes. I, it feels like an hour, two hours, but this one didn't for some reason. Uh, but it just, it was so cliched and it was so cringy in some aspects. I just, I was so surprised it was nominated for an Oscar. It, it just, it didn't appeal to me at all. I, I yeah, I, I just didn't like it. What is the cutoff for a short film in the Oscars then, if a 40 minute film is considered a short film for the Oscars? I think a short film can, can be up to an hour, can't it? Can it? I don't yeah, know, I was weird, wondering. I think it seems like a very long time. Or can it be? I'm not sure now. I must look it up. Yeah, because yeah. I thought like short films would have to be, yeah, a lot shorter. I would like, too. For, I would to qualify for the Oscars. Yeah. It must be the, the really the top. Did you, I, so uh, it, one thing I really did not like about this film is the fact that it started with that sequence of like him hitting his head on the fridge and the girl lying basically dead on the floor because it tells you how the film ends. Yeah. And then just tells you what leads to that point. And I don't think we needed that. I, I, I mean, why did that make the film better by knowing how it ends in the beginning? Yeah, obviously that was a, a, a decision she made. It's uh, I was looking that up. It, it's 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 called in in media res. It's when you when you start at the end. Um, yeah, it, it's it, it could it could have worked either way. I mean, I suppose if we talked about this actually before, that you want to grab people's attention early on. So a scene like that does grab your attention and you kind of do want to find out what happened, you know. So if you're if you're just coming to this film call and you just see the story, you know, evolving, you know, you may not, you may, you may lose your interest uh, sooner mm. than otherwise. <laughs> So she's so we're, along with the cliche writing of the characters, she's going with the cliche start the film with something interesting to keep your audience list interested to, to so that they get to the end because she didn't feel that the film itself would engage the audience enough to get them to the end. Yeah, well, I don't mean I, I didn't you don't see it that often, really. I don't think mm -hmm. I, 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 thought, I, thought, I thought that was OK. It reminded me like of um, a kind of a, a daytime television you know, a kind of a, a like a, day, a soap opera or something, or or maybe, it, or you, you know, do you ever watch a, like Diagnosis Murder or one of those type of programs or MacGyver or something? Some aspects of it reminded me that that's kind of the way those type of programs work. So it, it reminded me so much of, of those type of programs. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, it's getting a, a resounding pummeling, you know? <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I, it's just, I mean, it's, it's a decent film. I'm not knocking it I'm, overall. 
it's just, I mean, if she's going to, I mean, make statements like, you know, old films don't hold up. You need to make a film that holds up and you know, you gotta, you gotta back it up with your, with your speech. And well, maybe, you know, you said this is one of her earlier films, so maybe they've gotten better over time. Um, and it is a good film. I'm not completely knocking it. It's just, uh, yeah. you know, it's okay. Well, I, th- I think something else that she said when she, when she was talking about her films was that they were racist and sexist. And I think she has had difficulty breaking into the industry as a, as a woman. So mm. um, maybe she's, she's kind of talking from her her experience you know? and you know from from a very large chunk of the early years of cinema you know there was there was like racism and sexism you know that's not to say they were bad films made but uh, I think that's maybe where she's coming from could be and that I that's definitely a fair assessment I uh I keep wanting to do a video on like you know top 10 female filmmakers and it's it's really hard to find a good list because they do not get as much opportunity as the guys have throughout history. Um, so from that point of view, totally agree with her, one hundred percent that um, that films are definitely racist and misogynist in in a lot of ways. And it's really only recently that I think they really are attempting to not be that way. I- um, but I will point out she has no. Her film takes place in the South, based obviously with their accents and stuff, yet she has no characters of race. So where are all the black people in her film? Uh, she has the guy that he fights is, uh, I think, Spanish descent or something like that. Um, the wife is the stereotypical, I'm pregnant and stupid and blonde. Uh, the, the, the neighbor lady is a stereotypical, like old neighbor lady. Like, so if you want to make a statement about the system, don't make films that literally fit within that system. Like I, I did not, I didn't look up this film who made this film at all. And to be honest, I would have not known this was made by a man or a woman by the, by the way the film was made, mm. you know, it doesn't pass the Bechtel test. Okay. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and I, I think the cop was black. Was he? Mm-hmm. Yes, he oh, was. there you go. So you do have one race. Um, yeah, character. But, yeah. but I, I, I think I stand corrected. Yeah, the cop was yeah. black. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting, so I, I look at the film. I would have thought it was written by a man. Yeah, do you know just by looking at it, and, and especially the way the the wife is portrayed, and the women. It, it yeah, it, it's very it's, it's a surprise to realize that it was written by a woman. Mm. Yeah, totally. Well, should we write it then? Sure. Well, okay. Somebody go first. <laughs> All right, go for it, Claire. Okay, for me, it wouldn't be my cup of tea. It's very dated looking and very hammy, cheesy acting, but really actually good pacing. I didn't feel like 40 minutes, but I'll have to give it two stars. Uh, I'm going to go three stars. It's kind of a middle of the road film for me. It's good, uh, not great, also not bad. Um, and, and interesting, this is, you know, sometimes your rating changes a little bit based on the discussion. My rating has stayed exactly the same from before we started this discussion till now, three stars. All right. Um, I'm going to give it five. No, I'm not actually, no, no way. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Claire's face. I know we both looked (laughs) shocked. What? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> no, no, I will. Um, I'm with you, Marlo. Uh, like, it, it, I, I didn't, like, I, I didn't hate it. Yeah, you know? I mean, I watched it for the whole forty minutes. I was kind of okay. I could see like there was there's a lot of cheesiness and hamminess about it, but uh, it, it kind of kept my interest. Um, and it has things to recommend it, so I, I'll give it three stars as well. Mm. All right. Well, there you go. Uh, nobody, no budget audience. We are uh, kind of in the middle on this film. Things we like about it, things we don't like about it. You can, of course, watch it. We will throw a link to the film in the notes and let us know what you think via a comment or reaching out to us on social media at No Budget Show on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. And until next time, we will say see you later.